And so, first of all, I would like to thank the speaker, the organizers, to invite me here and explains our work here. Uh, I was a postdoc of Michael Kaplan, uh, unfortunately only for half a year, uh, but uh, I was a his co-author more than uh, three years, uh, but Uh, it happens that uh, happened that uh, I, I met him personally only after three years of our collaboration and after two common works. But even during our distant collaboration, during our first project of induced superconducting, induced uh, vortex in uh, superconducting graphene, uh, I understood that uh, he was very. Uh, he was a great scientist and uh, the man with a brilliant mind because uh, after a few weeks uh, uh, since uh, he joined us in our uh, first project, uh, he found a simple and very useful criterion uh, of uh, zero uh, energy modes inside the core of induced, core of, uh, induced, uh, of induced uh, vortex inside the so we can like graphene, and uh, we made very good. And he made very good uh, contribution to this project. Uh, and during my collaboration uh, with him personally, I learned many things from uh, Nikolai Borisovich uh, and uh, his ideas, uh, which we discussed during this short period of time, during this half of a year, uh, activate uh, till now and one of their, uh, and the main idea of this talk is, uh, came, came up during, after the discussions with Nikolai uh, My talk is it's about some, I have slightly different title for this moment, but it's okay, it's the same, so we have the vortex in superconducting column located granule, and uh, uh, we would like to consider some new uh, effect of uh, suppression of parity effect using the uh, vortex penetration inside the granule and some pumping of electrons through the superconducting granule in variating magnetic field. And this work uh, is work in progress, and uh, we are doing it with. Uh, Professor Juppe Pekola, who is my current supervisor in Finland, and I became a postdoc of Yuka, and uh, with my previous supervisor, Alexander Sergeyevich Melnikov, from Newfoundland. Okay, the outline of my talk is following. I would like, to, firstly, uh, I would like to remind you, maybe make some introduction to the single electron pumping in the single electron uh, transistors and single electron devices. Uh, I would like to give you the main ideas of this uh, pumping and uh, necessary ingredients of good uh, turnstiles or pumps and some uh, well-known results which we slightly which were slightly shown by Yuka in his uh, talk. After that I would like to remind you what is this parity effect in the cold located granules in the conducting granule, and how can we suppress this parity effect? And what are the consequences of this suppression? And after that, uh, I will represent here a new, a new principle of this electron pumping through such uh, superconducting granule by tuning this uh, parity effect by external magnetic field and the possible relaxation. And in the end of my talk, will be the uh, summary. Okay, let's start. Of course, if we would like to consider the electron pumping or some uh, current standard uh, where the current is proportional to the frequency of the drive, we should consider, uh, it's uh, natural to consider the single electron devices. One of the basic devices is single electron transistor, SCT. Uh, and uh, I, I will restrict myself 
to two types of SETs. It's normal SET, N I N I N, device where this island is rather small and uh, tunneling me, tun tun with tun tunneling, uh, coupling between uh, this uh, island and the leads. And this island is uh, capacitively coupled to the gate uh, electrode for gate voltage. And of course, uh, we can consider instead of normal metals, we can uh, put the superconducting leads or superconducting island. And the main difference between these two types of uh, SETs is the following. You can uh, see it uh, on the IV, 3D IV characteristics, the current as a function of vice voltage and the gate voltage normal normalized to the capacitance and the uh, uh, electron charge. And you can see that this, uh, the plateaus of the nearly zero current in the normal state uh, SET uh, only to touch each, each other. But in the hybrid CINES or NISIN SETs, superconductor, normal metal, uh, superconductor, normal metal, superconductor, normal metal, uh, you can see that these plotters are intersect, which are overlap, overlap, and uh, you can use this uh, region uh, to make the, you can change the gate voltage and have only uh, two states, uh, zero and one, without any um, opening of the uh, granule, without any leakage. If you, with finite bias, go here from zero to one, you should uh, go through this opened state uh, where we have a lot of current through this device. Okay, of course, there were several examples of uh, electron pumps and electron turnstiles. One of the possible uh, ones made by these uh, normal state SETs. You can put two SETs in series. Uh, simply, and you can change the gate of these two islands. Sorry, uh, in, in the following way, you can start with the state where the, uh, the zero number of excess electrons on both islands is the stable state, is the ground state. Then you change the gate voltage of the first uh, island, and the most preferable uh, state will be uh, with one electron on the left island. After that, you change uh, rather fast uh, from this state to this state. Yes, uh, then the, this uh, electron should tunnel to the second island, and you can return to the uh, origin. In this sense, this is the simplest uh, pump, and the current is proportional to the frequency of, of this drive. After this uh, idea, which was made in uh, early 90s. <laughs> there were some improvements, and the, uh, the, the best accuracy of the current uh, as a function of, uh, divided by uh, electron charge and the frequency is uh, the 10 to minus 8 in the pump uh, with, uh, okay, with six islands and seven uh, contacts. In contacts, but uh, the, the uh, amplitude of the current is rather small, and you know that of course you should change the, these gate voltages uh, sinusoidally with uh, phase shifts, so it's rather complicated stuff to manage. <coughs> and of course, there are a lot of different ideas to make this uh, current standard some electron pump in effect to realize them in some. In 2008, uh, in the group of Professor Luka Pekola, it was invented uh, to use the hybrid uh, SETs to make a turnstile, to make an electron pumping, and it is this difference which I uh, showed you before. If you try to change the gate voltage in the normal state SET, you should go to the open state of the normal uh, states uh, single electron transistor and the uh, current will flow freely during this part of the period. But if you go to the uh, hybrid CINES or NISIN SET, you can change the gate voltage rather quickly and uh, in this uh, state your, your uh, device will 
uh, be closed uh, during the period, and if uh, when and, and it, uh, their electrons can tunnel when you intersect these uh, boundaries of the diamond. Okay, qu quantitatively, uh, you can describe it using the master, the usual master equation. This, it was shown by Yuka that this is gamma's these tunneling rates from uh, describing the tunneling events of uh, with with the change of the number of excess electrons on the granule. This one it, it should be capital M instead of small one, of course. <coughs> and these gammas are calculated using the uh, gold, Fermi Golden Rule uh, as usual, and we should keep in mind that in this case, in this situation, we consider the electron-electron relaxation time to be the smallest uh, time in, in the system. So we considered uh, these Fermi distributions of the lead and the island to be Fermi distributions with the temperature of the bus thermostate, of, of the thermostate. And in this uh, case, the, these uh, two tunneling rates <coughs> satisfy the detailed balance. It is uh, making uh, beyond the parity effect regime. So we should have detailed balance. In this case, we, uh, we have uh, such equations in this case. Okay, let's consider the well-known results of uh, the pumping effect in this uh, hybrid SET. Uh, we, uh, as I uh, said to you, we can change the gate voltage uh, of the, of the uh, island and so we can pump if you apply the bias voltage to the leads. And you can see that, okay, if we uh, change the uh, gate voltage periodically, let it be sinusoidal, in a sinusoidal way, but okay, we can uh, see that the uh, charge and the excess number of electrons on the island will change immediately at some stage where the uh, tunneling rate is of order of the frequency and it changes, okay, it's, it's stochastic process but it, it, this, this in the tunneling event happens uh, in this area near this uh, point and uh, it changed uh, their number of uh, excess electrons from 0 to 1 and it can't change to other plateaus because <coughs> we are in this uh, range on, on the gate voltage and uh, we have no additional events because we are in the subgap regime. So let's start with this state with the zero electrons on the granule and open uh, to the uh, right electrode Firstly, we change the gate voltage. We put it in, inside this intersection of two diamonds, uh, and effectively, for these frequencies, we close close their uh, SET turnstile without any ele excess electrons on the ground. After that, we change the gate voltage further uh, to the uh, NG equal to one or four of it and we uh, increase exponentially the time rate from, uh, okay, sorry. Of course, this is the time rates as a function of, of as a function of time uh, through the left uh, <coughs> electrodes and right electrodes, uh, and you can see that you can uh, suppress the, uh, the other time rates uh, from zero uh, from n equal to 0 to n equal to 1 by bias voltage and you can change exponentially uh, this uh, tunneling effect because of the thermal activated uh, tunneling ev events uh, uh, through the contacts and the uh, Coulomb uh, blockade in Coulomb blockade iteration. Okay, uh, so I can change the gate voltage, I can suppress one of these uh, tunneling rates or increase uh, to another one. So first I suppressed the, the both tunneling rates to some small uh, value, and then I, uh, with further increasing of NG, I increased the tunneling rate of uh, tunneling from zero to one, so I effectively open 
the left contact and allow uh, one electron to tunnel in the uh, level. After that, I go backward uh, in Mg to this intersection region and I effectively close the, uh, both, the both contacts, but the state is different. The nano is, uh, has one excess electron. After that, I increase another uh, uh, tangent rays so I open the right contact. In the whole period of this graph, the only one electron uh, uh, goes uh, through the junction. So I can make the current <laughs> proportional to the charge of electron and the frequency of the drive. Of course, if I increase the amplitude of the uh, gate voltage, if I go not in this uh, uh, region but in larger amplitude, I can increase this and uh, you can see the quantization with the integer number n and of course it depends by changing the uh, gate offset, the average uh, value of the gate, the gate amplitude and the bias here, you can change the uh, current uh, frequency relation uh, by this you can change with n and uh, zero uh, if we consider the absolute value of current to some number it's about 10 yeah it's about 10, 10 quarters and experimentally the accuracy of uh, 10 to minus 4 is achieved in two, two years ago in Lucas group uh, for the frequencies from 1 hertz to 20 megahertz but this is uh, this was obtained only in uh, CNES hybrids SETs because uh, as you have said uh, you have some refrigerating effect uh, of this normal uh, island normal state island and uh, unlike in, in this state you have inverse process and the overheating of this island uh, spoils so the conducting state and spoils this accuracy very quickly. So the main idea which uh, which was the motivation of this talk was uh, the overheating of this superconducting random and as uh, Yuka showed you uh, there were several papers uh, one of them is FISWEF uh, with Nikolai Katnin, where uh, it was experimentally and theoretically showed that if you put the magnetic field perpendicular to the leads, you can uh, relax the excess quasi particles by the vortices, not very close to these contacts. In this sense, it's uh, natural to consider the N uh, missing turnstile in magnetic field. And uh, allow vortex to penetrate to relax the uh, quasi particles inside this superconducting part. But after that, uh, we realized that uh, okay, it's not only uh, useful tool for relaxation of quasi particles, but also it can be considered as a new effect of the pumping if you keep the gate voltage to be constant, the bias voltage to be constant, but you change the magnetic field. Uh, to uh, explain this, first of all, I would like to remind you the well-known parity effect in the Coulomb blockade uh, graph. If we consider a normal state uh, single electron transistor, of course, we have this stability diagram, the plateaus of zero current, and these diamonds are, touch in, are touching each other at one point. And, and if you consider the energetic diagram uh, of the so it's, it's the same stability diagram as a function of uh, mg. You can see that when you change the gate voltage, you are going from the n equal to zero as a ground state uh, to n equal to one if you cross this redundancy point. And the average number of uh, excess electrons as a function of gate voltage uh, has one e periodicity. Uh, and uh, the, this number changes at the changes of points, these touching points. And of course, the <coughs> sorry, and the uh, IV characteristics changes when you go from 
the complicated state here to the degeneracy point from the uh, state where you have the Coulomb uh, gap, this uh, red curve, uh, to the state when you have uh, nearly ohmic uh, character of ID curve. Of course, it's uh, has uh, the smaller slope because you you can you, you open the, your granule, but your electrons uh, can tunnel only one by one through this uh, charge. But anyway, uh, you have this uh, funny slope, you have the ohmic flow here on top, and you have uh, the usual constant uh, DID of the ATC. If you consider a superconducting granule, or rather large temperatures, it's uh, well known uh, from early 90s that uh, for rather large uh, temperatures, which is smaller than superconducting gap, but larger than the delta divided by logarithm of some effective number of, uh, uh, effective, uh, number of available states in the uh, superconducting granule. <coughs> you can see that the diagram, the stability diagram changes. So you can see that uh, these uh, small normal diamonds uh, extends, extends uh, to the delta, but the stability <coughs> diagram in terms of the ground state, the function of energy, remains intact because uh, the difference of free energy of these two states, the n equal to zero and n equal to one, uh, uh, in, in the degeneracy point goes to zero, even in the degeneracy point. So, this is the diagram when uh, we can use this usual uh, uh, hybrid term style. So the stability uh, of this of the state with uh, no excess electrons is this diamond uh, cut it at, at n g equal to one half and minus one half. So it's not uh, square. It's diamond, it's real diamond. But if you increase the temperature further, you can change the situation <coughs> because uh, of the shifting of uh, these uh, uh, odd uh, platters to the, to the difference of the free energy to have one excess electron, one uncoupled electron on the granule, which can't uh, recombine uh, to the Condensate and minus this uh, uh, temperature and the, uh, the entropy uh, to uh, put this electron in the number of available states. This is the well known parity effect, and you can see that instead of intersecting diamonds, you can see the large diamonds are at uh, even plateau and the small diamond at uh, odd plateau, which, which uh, leads to the uh, 2e periodicity of the average number of, of uh, electrons on the granule and the function of gate voltage, as usual. But let's consider the simple situation. Let's imagine that we can uh, change the, uh, this uh, inequality. We can go from this state to this state by variating either delta or temperature. In this sense, we can change uh, this uh, uh, diagram, stability diagram from the parity effect to some state, uh, okay, let it be normal for simplicity, uh, but we can change it to, to this state when, uh, of course, we have the same energetic uh, diagram and in this case if we put our work point somewhere here which is instability region of uh, with uh, zero number of uh, excess electrons within the uh, parity effect the ground state beyond the uh, parity effect regime will be uh, with one excess electron additionally so if we change this difference of free energy in time, we can change the uh, charge state of the granule uh, instantaneously. As in the usual case of the uh, 
turnstile, but with a fixed uh, gate voltage and fixed bias voltage. How can we do it? We can change either temperature in time, but it's rather slow, I think, and uh, we can change the gaps with the conducting gap, which is uh, much simpler. We can apply the memory. So we can allow warnings to penetrate inside the memory. Okay, uh, within the parity effect, uh, we can uh, quantitatively uh, describe this, uh, what is uh, complicated uh, uh, master equation, which was mentioned in Yuka's talk. Uh, so it's the probability to have not only uh, n number of excess electrons on the granule, but also the ns number of quasi particles. And of course, uh, this is uh, the more complicated uh, master equation because you, you should consider not only the uh, tunnel rates uh, with changing uh, number of electrons, but also with changing the number of quantum particles. But uh, you can see that it's uh, only the same uh, <coughs> tunnel rates with uh, different. <coughs> Integrate, sorry, integrating bounds because you, you should consider the uh, different, you, sh you should separate the processes of tunneling of electrons to the uh, granule with, uh, uh, with increasing number of quasi particles or with decreasing number of particles and also uh, to events when the electron exits, uh, exits the granule also. But another peculiarity of this master of this uh, tunnel uh, rates is that uh, we can't consider the uh, distribution function of the granule to be Fermi function with the temperature equal to the above temperature, because uh, we should consider the number of quasi particles to be uh, integer number. We should consider the quantization uh, number of quasi particles means that in the simplest model we can consider that we have the Fermi function with some effective temperature, but uh, in a real situation we should uh, consider some non-equilibrium uh, function, distribution function of the uh, electrons, of the quasi-particles on the ground. To simplify these uh, calculations uh, further, I will uh, show you the simplification uh, made uh, for rather large um, recombination rates. What is it? If you have the quantized number of quasi particles on the granule, of course not, you have not all, all, only the tunneling events uh, from the granule to the granule, but you have also the recombination and relaxation of a uh, number of quasi particles. There's an, another, <coughs> there's another uh, uh, quantum number of your task, your problem. And, uh, Simply speaking, you can uh, imagine, you uh, showed you that in the experimental uh, task, it's uh, these, these gamma's of order of 16 kilohertz or something like this. If we uh, drive our system with the frequencies which is smaller than the, this uh, uh, gamma recombination, time, recombination rate, we can consider uh, the situation that, okay, we have some tunneling event and we have increasing and decreasing number of quasi particles also. But uh, after a time of order of inverse tunneling, or inverse recombination rate, the number of quasi particles will be uh, the same as in equilibrium uh, situation. So if we fix the number of electrons on the granule, the number of quasi particles will be only the uh, zero or one. Uh, depending on the parity of this number of quasi particles. And we, <coughs> and it, it, as a result, we can see that we have the same uh, master equation, but the tunneling rates in this case uh, don't satisfy the uh, balance, uh, detailed balance, because uh, the effective, okay, effective temperature uh, with zero number of quasi particles on the granule and one number of one uh, quasi particle on the granule are different. So you, you can't, uh, you have a symmetry of these two states. You have this uh, shifting of uh, uh, odd plateaus in, in energetical diagram. <coughs> Using this, we can consider the possible realization. 
quite a time value in my main field, and we can consume a simulant uh, like this. Let's uh, put a nucleate in center uh, of the some suppression of the superconducting gap asymmetrically in this uh, superconducting island. And let's consider the uh, tunneling effects from the granule and uh, tunneling events uh, of this electron from the granule and to it. And we can see the difference. Uh, if we change the magnetic field, we can change this uh, suppressed gap. Let's consider, let's put firstly the electron on the granule. It, it will uh, it prefers to be in this uh, ground state, in this uh, <laughs> suppressed gap. If this region is uh, uh, larger of order of psi, <coughs> and in this case, we can see that okay, if the temperature is rather low, so the uh, tunneling rates, uh, the thermal activated events, to be, uh, to be on this uh, bulk gap is uh, unfavorable. The electron uh, can tunnel through this barrier with different probabilities because of this asymmetry of the distances between this nucleating center and the <coughs> leads. And in, in this case, uh, the electron prefers to tunnel to the right electrode if we increase this delta, suppressed delta. Uh, but if we consider uh, the opposite process, in this case, we have two electrons in the leads with different biases, and uh, in this situation, we need to uh, tunnel here only using the thermal activation. So, in this sense, we have additional uh, energy. Uh, we should have additional energy of the electron to tunnel here, and we can, uh, by bias voltage, we can overcome these uh, transparencies of the barriers like this. So we, we can <coughs> make the, the electron from the left uh, lead uh, to be favorable to tunnel to the granule from the right one. So all of this can be calculated using this technique of master equation with, uh, okay, we can consider uh, the simplest model when only uh, two number of uh, to possible number of quantity particles, so with rather large recombination rates. And in this case, <coughs> uh, similarly to the case of the usual turnstile, we can consider we can see that uh, the tunneling event, the tunneling rate, uh, the two main tunneling rates, the tunneling rate uh, of the electron to tunnel to the gravel for the left contact is uh, exponentially larger than the same tunneling rate. Uh, of the electron tunneling to the granule on the right, right contact, and we can uh, uh, separate the backward processes tunnel from the granule by the finite magnetic field and consider also this, in this region of magnetic fields. We can change the magnetic field in this region, and uh, you can see that in this case, the two main tunneling rates. Preferable ones, uh, uh, they, they are large compared to the others. And you can uh, consider the magnetic field protocol in this device. First of all, because of uh, nearly constant behavior of the tunneling rate uh, of electron tunneling from the ion, you should wait for some time. The small magnetic field, when the electron relaxes, the electron tunnel uh, from the island, preferably to the right uh, electrode. After that, you can change the frequency of the drive to make this tunneling uh, rate, this green one, uh, to be only a leakage, to be small compared to the frequency. So, in this case, this, uh, <coughs> this situation, uh, the granule will close, and after that, by changing the fast changing of the magnetic field, you can increase exponentially this uh, additional tunneling rate and uh, allow electron to tunnel into the granule, and after changing to the back direction because of this flash frequency, nothing happens because uh, 
for tunneling electron, for star electron tunneling from the granule to the electrodes, you need more time. So after the calculation, you can see that, okay, it's not very good, but the average current uh, per period uh, proportional to the EF in some region of the periods uh, with the, for these uh, calculations with the... Uh, this is period of protocol. Huh? This is period of protocol. Yeah, this period of protocol. Of course, I can, I can consider this is a period of protocol. Yes, yes. Change the magnetic field periodically, so I started with this, I wait, stumble, and after that I change the magnetic field faster. Yes, yes. As you, as I mean, uh, missing those. And you can see that in, in some region of order of 10, uh, one, one order of magnitude of the periods, you can see there uh, accuracy of the current. Uh, pumping of order of 10 to minus 1. So, as a result, it's, it's not a very good result because uh, we are keeping uh, this uh, gate voltage and the bias voltage to be fixed and change only the magnetic field, but we have a new uh, effect, the magnetic, uh, ma magnetoelectric effect, when you change uh, the magnetic field periodically in time, you can pump the electrons through the foam uh, blockaded granule by tuning the parity effect. So, uh, for this moment, this work is in progress, and of course, I'm very pleasant to hear your comments and questions. Thank you very much. Okay. So, questions, comments, remarks? So, how is it possible to uh, produce this preferable uh, Side for the electron inside the superconducting uh, iron. Uh, this one, can, yes, it's asymmetric. How yeah. is it possible to do? Of course, uh, you can uh, make the granule to be asymmetric, for example. Yes. You can make uh, it uh, for the like things with uh, similar to wedge. In this sense, you have mm -hmm. uh, some, you, you have the spring currents larger in this region than in this one. Ah, okay. So, so simple. Yes. Okay. In this last protocol, you were mentioning some vortex, but all your quantities depend continuously on magnetic field. They do not jump when vortex comes in or comes out. Of course. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Completely because the vortex is somewhere here, and I'm working in this region. Uh, even uh, the. Here you can see their parity effect suppression <coughs> because when vortex uh, penetrate, penetrates to the granule, the parity effect suppressed completely. But in my case, of course, it's uh, a bit uh, misleading because uh, it's not a vortex, it's some nucleating center, some suppression of the gap, which is small compared uh, to the uh, suppression that we see. But it's some uh, nucleation center. Okay. So let us end this video again. So we are in time. The morning session is finished.